Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial on getting started with internet computer platform. So in this video, we'll create a simple Hello World program using Motoko. By the end of this video, you will have your first internet computer application up and running. So yeah, let's get started. And so we'll see lab objective, which is just uh, we will learn to create and deploy Hello World program on local internet computer platform setup so in the first step we are creating a project named hello hello by using dfx dfx is nothing just a command line interface for internet computer sdk so yeah we'll run this command here it will create a new project named with hello and install all the dependencies automatically we can check on VS Code tab as well. In this tab, we'll see our project. Now, once it complete, we'll change the directory to hello. So, VS Code is loaded properly. Now, just wait for a while. It is installing the node dependencies, which are huge list. So, that's why it is taking time. As you can see, our project is created. All the dependencies are being installed and we have successfully created our project. You can see in the VS Code tab as well, you will see the hello project in which it have node modules, all the necessary dependencies that need to be get started. So now let's change our directory to hello. CD is used for change directory. So we are moving to hello program in our terminal. Now move next in the step three it is saying to start the or to start or test the local instance of IC or we can say we are deploying our program. So we'll use GFX start this uh, background flag runs the IC in the background. So this is to be run the internet computer in the background. So it's running the running it will take a little time so yeah as you can see initialized replica our local host link has been created successfully so now it's the time to move to step four step four says that ensure that all the mode uh, node dependencies are installed properly so basically we have already installed node modules you can check in project folders we have the node modules folder but still if any node dependency is not being installed there we can install it by npm install npm install will install all the node dependencies that is required for this project so yeah we'll run npm install for just making sure that everything is being installed or not so yeah it's up to date now we can move to step 5 which is deploying the project so register, build and deploy your first D app, which is decentralized app on local IC instance. We will deploy this. So it is being deployed. It will take a little time. You can check on VS Code folder. You can explore this folder more, like what it is doing, what are these node modules what type of node modules we have installed or uh, we can see what is inside source what is git ignore is a file when we are when we are initializing this project to git repository or moving it to git repository these folder must be ignored so this is a list of those folders we will have dfx.json we will have a lot more files here. So yeah, let's see what our command is doing. Yeah, it's installing canisters. So 18 operations are done. So now you can see that front end and back end canister has been created successfully deployed properly. So now let's move to other steps. Step six is saying just we have to identify as deployment registers have to identify as one is hello backend, one is hello frontend. You can see here as well. So frontend is for user interface, backend is for main program. Now we can check this in VS Code as well. So in VS Code, we have source directory in which we have hello backend, hello frontend, 
Hello Backend will have main dot move program, the MO program. Then in Hello Frontend we have assets and source and source will get our index.html and JavaScript file used for this project. So yeah, we are done with this step as well. Now let's move to step nine, which is saying in backend code we can op. So just move to backend code. In backend code, you can observe that there is a function called greet and it is printing hello, then the name passed to it. So if I passed hello world, so it will print me hello world. When I pass name, it will print that name with hello comma hello world. So we can check this in our yeah, we can check this in our terminal by running this program, or you can say by calling this backend function, which giving the argument as everyone. What argument we are giving name as everyone. So I run this. So you can see the output. It is hello everyone. Because we passed everyone here, that's why it is giving me hello everyone. So we are done with this testing and deployment. Now, after we are done, we can stop this local IC instance by dfx stop. So let's run this command. So as you can see, we have deployed, develop and test our program on local IC instance. So congrats, congratulations, you have just created and deployed your first internet computer application. Feel free to explore more features and capabilities of Motoku and the internet computer platform. So if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe and share it with others who might benefit. Thank you for watching. Happy coding on internet computers.